I have to ask, you're running as an independent. I am. Um, why? So, honestly, what happened, um, I've been frustrated with Ashley Hinson's performance in Congress and voting record for, for a little over a year now. I, I have been a registered Republican my entire life. Um, the final straw for me was when she voted yes on the $95 billion foreign aid package in April. And at that point, I decided I wanted to run. It was time to run. You do understand, though, that you know, as a, as a superpower, we have a role to play in the rest of the country. Oh, and absolutely. so that's, uh, un unless we want to withdraw from the world stage, there's going to be both financial and physical investment in other countries. Absolutely agree. We need to support our allies. Um, but you get to a point where it's like, OK, how much is enough? Um, and quite frankly, we're funding both sides of some <laughs> issues. Um, and my bigger concern is a complete lack of accountability and transparency into where those dollars are being spent. You talk about the, the border and immigration crisis mm -hmm. on your website. I, I wonder, what are the main issues there that you want to see uh, Congress tackle? So, i full believer in legal immigration. Absolutely want to support people who want to come to this country and build a better life for themselves and be pro productive members of our society. Um, but we can't just have open borders where we don't know who's coming through. And we have to make sure we're doing our border and our immigration policy in a safe way. And so we absolutely need to put a better vetting process in place um, to make sure that if there are criminals and terrorists coming through our borders, that we catch them at the border before they get, they get here. Um, but we also need to, to prioritize getting a better policy in place for getting a path to citizenship for those immigrants that are coming here for good reasons. Because we see more billion dollar disasters in Iowa than ever before. We've seen several this year when we think had maybe one every eight years prior. How, how do we tackle this? Because we can't just throw money at the problem if we expect to try and, and reverse this or ease this. Or are we simply going to have to adapt to the way things are now? Well, um, I'm not fully on board that climate change is as critical and as much of an, emer an emergency as, as maybe some folks believe. Do I believe we impact the climate? Absolutely. But I also believe climate change has been happening on, this, on, this, on, the, on the earth for hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of years, right? Um, I believe we need to be responsible in taking care of our earth and there absolutely are things that we can do. You come from rural Northeast Iowa like yeah. myself. We're seeing a lot of parts of the state lose access to women's health care, lose access to labor yeah. and delivery. And a yeah. lot of people believe part of that has to do with the new six week abortion ban in Iowa. You know, and I wholeheartedly agree that, you know, in rural Iowa, there are areas that do not have good health care and, and we are seeing OBGYNs, you know, but I think a lot of that also, you can, um, we can attribute maybe some of it to the abortion issue, but I also believe that there's probably a lot of insurance costs associated with being an OBGYN. I mean, I'm not an OBGYN, so I'd have to speak to an OBGYN to say, okay, you know, what's your take on that? But um, my, my guess is it's not just one, one issue, it's usually multiple issues that, that drive some of those decisions.